Rodgers, the quick pop for a touchdown. Aaron Rodgers after the play fake, throwing deep. And looking for Adams, who makes the over-the-shoulder catch. How do you judge a quarterback's performance? Well, one measure you've heard of is passer rating. What is it exactly, and how is it calculated? Well, it's a very simple process. Let me walk you through it. To calculate passer rating, you need just five stats. Attempts, completions, passing yards, interceptions, and touchdown passes. And you just plug all of those into this very simple formula. For this exercise, we're going to use Aaron Rodgers' Monday night game. He was 30 for 39 for 313 yards with two touchdowns and zero interceptions. Let's start by calculating A, which is completions divided by attempts minus 0.3. That's 0.46923. Then you multiply that by 5. That's 2.34615, so A equals 2.34615. Next, we calculate B. The first step is yards over attempts minus 3. That equals 5.02565. Then multiply that by 0.25, so B equals 1.25641. Now on to C, a similar process. Divide touchdowns by attempts. 2 divided by 39 is 0.05128. Multiply that by 20, and you get C, which is 1.0256. And finally, let's calculate D. That's interceptions divided by attempts times 25. So because he threw zero interceptions, that equals zero. Then you subtract that from 2.375, which of course is 2.375. Now we have A, B, C, and D, and you plug them into this formula. So we add those four calculations, 2.34615, 1.25641, 1.0256, and 2.375. That's 7.00316. Take that number, divide that by 6, and that's 1.167. Then you multiply that by 100, which is 116.7. And that's how you calculate passer rating. Any questions? Okay, now grab your pencils and calculate along with me as we...